From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big shocking night with shocking detail coming in even minutes ago. On an earnings front, on a recession, on an inflation, it's the week that everyone's been watching for. And on Thursday, the jobless numbers will be released. I'm predicting it will go to 260,000. But today, minutes ago, Alphabet missed on corporate earnings. Microsoft missed on corporate earnings. Chipotle missed on corporate earnings. Last night, Walmart missed on corporate earnings. Boy, folks, big problems. But the good news is that there's a force you must check in every U.S. state, and your benefits are going up a lot. We'll go over the latest details on the raise of your benefits. We'll go over the latest details on the housing numbers released before the start of the day. They weren't good as well. Earnings recession fully underway tonight. We'll go over the latest details across the board. But the great news for you, thank goodness, thank goodness, is that there's a force you must check in every U.S. state. We go over these incredible checks in tonight's recording. Approximately one hundred thousand dollars. You qualify. Single individual seventy five thousand less. Go get it. Married couple one hundred fifty thousand less. Go get it. It's approximately one hundred thousand dollars. And in this recording, we'll go over these big checks. Stay to the very end. It's a big broadcast tonight, folks. Minutes ago, Alphabet, the parent company of Google, the parent company of YouTube, missed on top and bottom. In their second quarter earnings reports released minutes ago, Microsoft missed, Chipotle missed, last night Walmart missed, this morning McDonald's and Coca-Cola beat. In the meantime, the Federal Reserve meets tomorrow to raise that interest rate's 75 basis point and your inflation has not settled down. We'll go over the latest details tonight with the great news of the big money, about $100,000 of checks and why your benefits are going up so much. Plus, we'll get a preview of what's going on with those jobs later this week because one company today announced 10% of its workforce is gone. We'll go over what's going on tomorrow and then especially Thursday as this economy is going to be announced as potentially in a recession. Then Friday, why inflation is going to be announced by the latest numbers across the board. You've got to get that force to most check in every U.S. state. You deserve it. You deserve the big money across the board. We're going to go over this big money, approximately $100,000 of it, Later this recording, step one, go into this video, become a member. Step two, stay in the second half of this recording. Stay over this one hour broadcast. We have huge monies to get to you tonight from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's America's most watched show in prime time. It's Evenings LA with the breaking news coming in minutes ago. I have it right now. It's Evenings. And good evening, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful It is a gorgeous night here along the coast with the biggest week of the summer currently underway. It ended on Monday with Walmart missing in those corporate earnings and sending retail stocks into a tailspin downward. You saw the breaking news, if you remember last night. But minutes ago, the breaking news came in from Alphabet, Chipotle, Microsoft, it's not good. I actually held to record this video a little bit later because I want to have the breaking news for you. Good night. I hope you're having a great evening across the board. We got a lot coming up in tonight's recording. We'll go over those $100,000 of four stimulus checks later in this recording. Go into this video, become a member. We're going to go over that raise of your benefits. Great money, about $5,000 later in this recording. But I'm going to start with the breaking news right now. It's the earnings recession. You're going to see the recession in corporate earnings for second quarter release this week. And this came in just literally less than 60 seconds ago. I held this recording so that I can get this news for you. Alphabet, the parent company of Google, the parent company of YouTube. Missed on top, missed on bottom. Top is revenue, bottom is earnings. Miss means it did not meet projections. Beat means it got better. It missed on top and missed on bottom, Alphabet. Earnings. Came in at 112, 121, it was expected at 128. Rev, expected at 69, 69, came, it came, expected at 70 billion, came in at 69 billion. 
YouTube revenue missed as well, 7.34 billion expected, 7.52. Microsoft missed on top, missed on bottom. Minutes ago, this was released. And this is a major corporation, missed on earnings, coming in at 223, 229 was expected, coming in at 51 billion on revenue, expected to be at 52 billion. Missed on top, missed on bottom. Also minutes ago, Chipotle, <laughs> deliciousness, not so when you look at its earnings report. It missed on revenue, 2.21 billion compared to 2.24 billion. This, my friends, is why you got to get a force so much check in every U.S. state. If corporations are missing on their second quarter revenue because of the pressures of a recession and pressures of an inflationary environment, they're going to start laying people off. They're going to start coming here for stimulus. You need to get these big stimulus checks across the board. We're going to go over all these incredible checks. Elaine is according how much? About $100,000. You qualify. Single individual, $75,000 or less. Go get it. We're going to go over all these incredible checks in just a second. Go under this video, become a member, and stay with me as we go over this data in this recording tonight. We started today with the housing data, and it was not particularly good. It was a big start of the day. And let me tell you what happened with the housing data. Today's housing data is different than last week's, but it was no better news at all. Today's housing data was for the price of the homes sold. Three data points released today all said the same thing. The home prices in the month of May were up 19.7% compared to year to date. This is the core logic case Shiller National Home Price Index released months ago. But that is the second consecutive month of declining increases of price of homes. So it's higher on the year to date, but it's lower month after month. It was 21% gain in, in, uh, on pricing in April. So every month it's going down. This mirrors what happened last week. On housing. Housing is being hurt by inflation. Housing is being hurt by recession. And housing is likely to be the very big massive casualty of this economy first. What was the data last week? It started on Tuesday when the data came in from the sentiment of the home builders and it was not particularly good. On Tuesday it was a meet, on beat, a miss. On Wednesday it was a miss. And on Thursday, it was a mess. Let's go over what happened. First, on Tuesday, the NAS Association of Home Builders Wells Fargo Housing Market Index gauging builder confidence dropped astronomically, 12 points down to 55. It's the second biggest drop in a 37-year history of the index. Then the next day, the number of housing new starts, this new homes, selling, what was it? It fell 2% when they were looking for an increase of 2%. Then the day after that, July 20th, new existing home sales fell 5.4% for the month of May. The second, lar the biggest largest drop since the month of April, March. Just shocking. Now, the great news is your benefits are going up a lot, a lot of money, and that is because inflation has not settled down. Your benefits will be going up astronomically. How much? Approximately $5,000. Because inflation has not settled down, we'll go over that inflation in just a second. But first, let's go back into the breaking news coming in minutes ago. Some of this is since afternoon. Some of it was earlier this morning. The markets were, in their mind, shocked last night after the close when Walmart recorded corporate guidance, tracking it down for this quarter and next quarter. Now, Walmart's not reporting corporate earnings this week. They're saying, get ready for August because we're guiding downward on retail sales for this quarter, which we're leasing on August, and the rest of the year. They say inflation has really hurt their business. And that sent Walmart stock tumbling 10% last night. If you're on the live stream, you saw the news story. If you're on LALate.com, last night we had the news story. It sent Amazon, Target, and all the retail sector in a plummeting, falling free-for-all last night. It continued today. Now, if inflation continues to track higher, then your benefits continue to track higher. Did we see any new guidance on this inflationary front tonight? Well, let me tell you a couple things. First, for natural gas, there's a big calamity happening. Over in Europe, they're worried they may not have enough natural gas for the winter. They're worried their citizens will freeze to death. So they have now instituted a 15% voluntary reduction of natural gas 
after Nord Stream 1, that pipeline from Russia to Germany, has gone on off and on in the recent days, and they believe it will not feed enough natural gas for its citizens. Last uh, night and then into this morning, we had some earnings reports that were beat and beats. Here we go. McDonald's this morning beat on earnings, missed on revenue, while Coca-Cola beat on revenue and beat on earnings. Incredible. So the recession is not broadly felt across the board, and that's what's really hitting left and right. Now, where are we specifically, definitively going to see inflation this week? We're going to see on Friday. It's a big week. We have no week like this. And that Friday, this Friday, the PCEI is released, Personal Consumption Expenditure Index. And that number is very important. Why? Because it's the best, most reliable number for inflation between the CPI numbers, which are once a month. We got the last CPI for the month of June two, for, two Wednesdays ago. So there's another two more weeks until we get it again. In between, we have the PCIE this Friday. It's very reliable. Let's go over why this inflation continues to track higher, what's going to happen tomorrow with inflation, and why is it so great news for your benefits. Inflation is tracking higher because gasoline and price of goods are going higher. But where do we see it? We see it in the numbers released two weeks ago. On that Wednesday, CPIB, Thursday, PPIB, and Friday, retail sales beat. Why is this big news for you? Because as these inflationary numbers go higher, your benefits go higher. The biggest lift of a generation. We're going to go over the calculation of the benefits lift in just a second. But first, I want to go over what happened with these beats in advance of this Friday. May, CPI. 8.6%. Last Wednesday, 9.1%. Higher than expected at 8.8% expected. Biggest increase of the CPI since 1981. The day after the PPI was released, producer price index surging out of control to 11.3%. Second highest compared to the 116 posted in March. Then on Friday, the retail sales beat at a 1% increase, meaning you're not spending more in the store for more products. You're just buying the same product that's now more expensive. Tomorrow, 2 o'clock Pacific, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and then 2.30 Eastern Standard, 2 Eastern Standard Time is the major announcement. Jay Powell, head of the Federal Reserve, is going to raise those interest rate spikes. It's about 75 basis points is the projection to get inflation down. But at the moment, inflation has not peaked. If inflation has not peaked, and then your benefits are going up a lot, this is a time to celebrate because everything you wanted on this channel is this SS200, SS300, the raise of your lift of your benefits. Let's go over first what's going on, then we'll go over how it works, and then we'll go over the calculation. First, you already know that inflation has not peaked. Number two, you know what we're going to look at this week. The PCEI, that's the inflationary gauge released on Friday. And number three, we need to understand how this works. Your benefits are going up. SSA, SSI, SSDI, VA, and more. Your benefits are going up. Why? Because inflation is not tracked down. And as inflation continues to stay high, your benefits are going to go up a lot. Well, how does this work? About $5,000, incredible amount of money. And why is that? Because inflation is tied to your benefits in part, as inflation stays higher, there they go. All right, now let's broadly explain what's going on and what you and I need to look for. Your benefits are tied to a benchmark. It's called COLA, C-O-L-A. It's tied to another benchmark that's called CPI-W. Yes, the number we just went over. It's a subsection of CPI. That number for three months determines the COLA for the entire year. Those three months, July August and September. So you and I need to know that whether inflation has peaked, still going higher, or going lower. At the time of tonight's recording, there is no indication that CPI, that the inflation has peaked. There's all indications still going up. And if it continues to go up or stays where it is, you're in a great circumstance. Why? Because your benefits will get the biggest lift of your generation, of your lifetime. You're never going to see a lift this high. And remember, once your benefits go up, they never go down. All right, now let's go over the how this works, and then we'll go over the calculation. How this works is we need to watch the inflationary numbers in the next two months. They are this month, July, released in August. They are August, released in September, and they are September, released in October. 
we are going to watch inflation, which is dependent upon, yes, gasoline, and yes, price of goods. And we're going to see whether they continue to track where they are tonight. The latest details on gasoline is there is no inherent deal for the White House, no change of policy that's going to get gasoline down. And why the international price of Brent crude is higher? <laughs> the price of gasoline at the pump is slightly lower. That's because of volatility of trading. What you need to know is that inflation will continue to track higher. And with that, you're in a great circumstance going into tonight's recording. So let's go over how this calculates for you and where it kicks in. Your benefits will go up. Who? You. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rural Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. Next, automatic? Yes. You don't have to do anything. The check right in the mail. The check by direct deposit. Number three. Is it a big increase? It is. It's the biggest of your generation. And finally, is it $5,000 for everyone? It is not $5,000 for everyone. Some people have more, some will have less, but everyone will have the same lift across the board. The same percentage lift is just absolutely incredible. So that Friday number is critically important, the PCEI. Now, Walmart reported those corporate guidances downward last night. And in saying that, they said, Inflation is taking a major hit on our business. Consumers are not in the stores buying in Walmart stores like they, we thought they were because they cannot afford the inflationary pressure across the board. That is why the entire resale sector imploded overnight. Target, Amazon, and other retailers fell dramatically because Walmart says the inflation is not being absorbed by the viewer. This, my friends, is why you need to get a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. Go under this video and become a member. And the second half of this video, we're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time. These big checks are here and you deserve to get them. Let's go over the other breaking news stories tonight because there is a lot of them. Labor, big problems. Big problems. I'm projecting that the unemployment numbers coming in on Thursday will be even higher. What's happened? We have gone from 180,000 to 251,000 jobless claims in less than four weeks. But I'm projecting to go to 260. What was the guidance we got today? Potential guidance came from Shopify. The online retailer laid off 10% of its workforce this morning. Not good. What is the other guidance? Well, when you see that Alphabet, Facebook, Coinbase, Netflix all have cut employment hiring, and when you see for the major corporations in America tonight, in the biggest week of the, of the summer, missing on revenue and net profits, whether it's Google, Facebook, app, whether it's Google, whether it is Microsoft, Chipotle, or Walmart, you know they're going to start to curb their spending. And that is why you need to get that four stimulus check in every U.S. day. Here's what's at issue. As people get unemployed, they're going to get shocked. Because they're going to look at that unemployment check and then realize, wait a second, this is not 2020. Gone is the $600 a week on top of it, FPUC. Gone is the PUA for independent contractors. Gone is the extra weeks of benefits, PEUC. And that's why, my friends, you have to get that four stimulus check in every U.S. state. With that, let's go over that big four stimulus check in every U.S. state because you need to know what it is, how it works, and everything about it. Let's get a preview of that big check starting right now. That incredible four stimulus check in every U.S. state is huge. You deserve it. And you want to get it, you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits, go get this huge money. When did it become a law? It became law in the month of March. These incredible checks done by executive action from Joseph Biden are law. They're federal law. They're federal stimulus. They're not paid by the states. They're not coming from the states. And how much is it? Oh, boy, it's a lot of money. It's approximately $100,000 across the United States, a series of different checks. And in tonight's recording, you're going to hear two success stories. One, from a viewer last Thursday who is getting upwards of 80 checks. Two, another viewer in the last 24 hours who is getting two different checks. In one case, one of those checks is over 12 months. Done by executive action from Joseph Biden. You deserve these big sums of money. Become a member. Go right in this video and join this channel. And in the big second half, we're going to go over more about these incredible checks one at a time. Plus, we'll go over the latest details on 
the big money at issue. One of the great benefits of becoming a member is that incredible membership newsletter. And one of the greatest parts of the membership newsletter is the brand new L8 worksheets. Everyone is talking about them, and let's jump into the latest details on what we know about those worksheets and their details tonight. The worksheets are down in about the fourth or fifth line of the newsletter at nightly, and it's a PDF you can print for your phone or download and take notes on a separate piece of paper. Let's go over each of these pages with those brand new success stories tonight of people getting upwards of 80 checks. First, line one, inflation. What do we learn about inflation today? We learn that inflation is really taking its toll on the corporate bottom line. Walmart rec- guiding downward for this quarter and the entire year, saying inflation is really hurting its business. We also know there's no indication that inflation has tracked lower. It has not yet indicated it has peaked. And with that, your benefits are going to go up an incredible amount. Number two, recession. What do we learn about recession? Earnings recession, which is when corporations reporting dramatic misses on the earnings front are broadly felt tonight. Started last Friday on the social media stocks, Twitter and Snap, continued last night with Walmart, continuing right now, tonight with Microsoft, Alphabet, and Chipotle. A lot of different businesses missing on the recessionary front, those earnings top and bottom. While other companies in hospitality, travel, and also in some of the uh, uh, quick-eating McDonald's-type businesses are beating, so they're not having a problem whatsoever, labor. 10% of the labor workforce gone in Shopify this morning, the major online retailer. And we're going to look at those 260,000 jobless claim projections by me this Thursday. We'll see if I got it right. Last week, 251. And then the Federal Reserve tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, announces the July FOMC interest rate spike. Then Jay Powell speaks to news 30 days, 30 minutes later. It's likely to be 75 basis point. It's not particularly helpful. It doesn't particularly uh, hurt, doesn't particularly help you, but it's not likely to be the 100 basis point. The second page of this worksheet is the one that people are winning with and winning in a big way. And tonight we have incredible, huge success stories. These worksheets are created by Allied only for Allied members. And the second page is the one that is a winner. Four stimulus, a table that goes over the incredible checks, A, B, and C. And one viewer was taking notes on that table but forgot she had notes. And she looked back on those notes after she got a real surprise email on Thursday. Let me go over this incredible table. It's a table for you to keep track on when you applied for, what you applied for, and what you got paid. But it only helps if you look at it. (laughs) It only helps if you look at it. If you put it away and you forget you had it, that doesn't really help. And that's what happened with one hysterical story last Thursday. A viewer out of Florida had applied for Check B, Checks B, and she got an email on Thursday from the agency that said, congratulations, you've been approved for Check B. Incredible, but the story gets better than that. She got approved for 18 months. The story's getting even better. 18 months of mortgage payments. Folks, this is astronomical. This is not $10,000. This is tens of thousands of dollars. And the story gets even better. She also applied with all her utilities. And if presumptively she has four utilities, that's five bills, five checks per month for 18 months. You can do the math. 18 months of five checks, folks, she is looking really pretty. That is an astronomical amount of checks for her. This is what this channel is delivering. And she's back tonight getting other checks from those other items across the board. Spelly's the second viewer. He last night revealed the incredible details that he applied for check A and he got approved. And moreover, he wants to be your inspiration tonight as well. So he sends these very kind messages in his latest update tonight. As to check A... And what does he tell us? He's from Oklahoma City, and he got approved for Check A in the biggest week of this incredible money. What did he do? He got that incredible message today, and he says the following. He says, I want to tell the viewers that they can do it and stay with it. He applied in Oklahoma City, and he says the application was a little bit bit of a dance, and that um, I had a little bit uh, of an issue first getting the application going, but I found it. There were several false starts and getting it submitted, but I kept on pushing, and I got it in, and I got approved. 
a weatherizing check he got. That is why you stay with it. That's what he did. He stayed with it, and he got that incredible check. But I asked him, Spelly, did you get anything else? I also got check C. Spelly reports that he went and then got check C that is paying for 12 months of one item and then another item for two years. Incredible details across the board. It's all that incredible inspiration, and that is why the worksheet is so helpful, because you want to keep track of when you're paid for and what you're paid for across the board. Become a member. Go around this video and become a member and get those incredible worksheets in the third line of the incredible newsletter. Let's continue with what else we know about these worksheets tonight. In that third page, we have membership. We have the benefits lift. We know that if inflation continues to track as it is right now in the month of July, which you're currently experiencing August and September, your benefits lift is going to be the highest of your lifetime. We're going to watch that CPI-W, CPI certainly when it's released for the month of July and August. But for now, our best indicator before then is Friday. When we look at that PCEI, that inflationary number, it's very helpful because it mirrors what happens with the CPI just weeks later. We're going to watch and see what happens. The next page is gasoline. This is very important tonight, folks. I've been teasing this all day long. There is no inherent policy by the White House to solve the issue of gasoline. We have two prices of gasoline. They are the international price of Brent crude, which is going higher. The U.S. domestic on lender, which is going lower. Why is one going lower and the other one going higher? They are oil traders. They admit they're trading them up and trading them down based upon their projection of what a recession will do with demand for gasoline. They're not going down because of the White House's administration policies, says traders. The White House has not delivered any administration policy to battle oil. And so oil is likely to come back up. And when it does, inflation goes up and major issues thereafter. The next page is, of course, student loan debt forgiveness. The president is likely to forgive 10,000 student loan debt in the next few days. He already forgave student loan debts for individuals who became disabled after graduation, individuals who went to work in the nonprofit or public sector after graduation, and individuals who were defrauded by the university. That announcement is coming thereafter. That is the wonders of becoming a member, and you want to become a member to get these huge checks. These big checks are federal stimulus. They are federal stimulus, and you deserve them. Why do you need to get them right now? Because we're going through phases of this economy. Most analysts agree with me now that the phases of the economy are going to be more pronounced in the third and fourth quarter this year. That's number two. That's number three, September to January. You don't want to become a, you don't want to wait to get this big sums of money because guess what? 260,000, 250,000 new jobless claims this week. And guess what people are going to do when they look at that check? They're going to look at it and say, wait a second, there's no money in there. They're going to think they get the unemployment stimulus of 2020. It's all gone. Where are they going to be? They're going to be here getting that big money. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over all these incredible sums of money across the board. Here's what you need to know tonight is that the biggest week of the summer is just getting started. And the excitement continues all this week and the shockers of news left and right. What happens tomorrow? More corporate earnings come in tomorrow. And then, of course, the big details on when on late Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time as the, as the Federal Reserve announces its determination. Thursday, of course, is the shocker at shortly before sunrise as the numbers for unemployment are released. And guess what happens also Thursday morning? Potentially the biggest story of the entire summer. Thursday morning is when Department of Labor will announce whether we posted a second negative quarter of GDP. If that's the case, the announcement will be we are in a recession. The Atlanta Fed GDP Now is a live tracking tool released two weeks ago that has a 30-year track record that is impeccable, never wrong. And when their live data was released on July 1, having ended the second two quarters this year, they said, yes, you're in a recession. Yes, the second quarter posted negative GDP growth. At the time of tonight's broadcast, there is no indications that dispute the Atlanta Fed GDP now. But there are some analysts that say the data that's going to come in on Thursday will not show negative GDP growth and that we're not in a recession. Not particularly clear where they're getting their data from, and they don't explain where they're getting their analysis from either. 
So that Thursday morning announcement is critical. Are we in a recession right now or are we not? And it's still waiting to go into it. And is the Atlanta Fed GDP now inaccurate for the first time in nearly 30 years or is it once again accurate? That same morning in which we had the new jobless claims numbers with the labor market posting the most unemployment claims of 2022 week after week. It's a broadcast like none other. That's all morning this Thursday morning, live on air on mornings. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over all these incredible checks. You deserve all these big sums of money. We're going to go over all these incredible checks because guess what? If a recession is announced on Thursday, if more jobless claims are released on Thursday, if the Federal Reserve shocks the markets, if we have more corporate misses, even after tonight's recording but before tomorrow morning, people are going to be looking for that stimulus. Go on to this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Pirate Cows, you know, VIP. And in the second half of this video, we're going to go over all these incredible checks one at a time. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, the news is just getting started. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as America's most loved show in prime time for financial news continues. It's evenings, Alalite, back in 60 seconds. For a beautiful night across the coast and up the land this gorgeous evening. But first, let's remember, it's a night that is still underway. With more corporate earnings coming in throughout the night, I'll have them in the live feed as the show airs. See you back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues a big night tonight with this big second half as those big four stimulus checks are heating up. Viewers are getting them. 60 checks, 80 checks a person. We're going to go over all those incredible checks starting right now. First, did you become a member during the commercial break? Do it right now. Go under this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Join the channel, the number three most watched financial news channel that's expanding to number two with major changes underway. We'll go over those changes in just a second. But let's jump right into those checks without a delu, without a delay, going over each of them starting right now. Back in the month of March, viewers turned to me and said, L.A., can you find us some stimulus checks? Bill Bad Barack hasn't gotten done, and I did. At the same time I was looking for them, the President of the United States signed a series of executive actions. And these stimulus checks are exactly what we needed. Two things I was looking for, broad eligibility and big payments. And we got them. First, big payments. It's important you have big checks, big checks, not $200 checks, because we're going into a two-year recession. Financial, and stabi financial stability is needed, and a financial cliff is approaching. I care about you, and I want you to have big checks. And viewers are getting them. Then, broad eligibility. I want you to be eligible for these checks. And that's what we got. Let's go over that eligibility. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you have children, if you don't have children. If you're on benefits like SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, go get it. They're in every state. They're done by federal government, paid by the federal government. You go get them. And as, finally, as Carol said, Alley Light, you make it so simple. You put in a concise newsletter, deliver to members nightly, so that all you have to do is go down, apply, go down and apply. If 
It's that straightforward. Let's go over all these incredible checks starting right now. I give them a lettering system starting with check A, and it is a $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. Let's look at that great check starting right now. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get it. If you rent, if you own, if you're on benefits, if you're not on benefits. Excuse me, if you, if you are on benefits, go get it. Then, incredible check B. With check A, how do you get check A? Step one, go right on this video and become a member. Then go into that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go down to check A. If you are on benefits, if you're an owner, if you have children, if you don't have children, you find check A. Click the link. Send your right into the nationwide website. And then you choose your state. You choose the weatherizing grant and go get it. As as Speedy did, Spelling did, and he got that incredible, wonderful check. You're not going to be done there yet. You can go get check B. That's what that other viewer got. Over 60, 70, 80 checks she got. Fifteen, eighty thousand dollars $80,000. Forced to most check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 or less. Go get it. If you're on benefits, go get it. And wonderful sums of money. Many viewers are tracking even now over $8,000. How do you get it? Step one, become a member. Go run this video and join the channel. Step two, subscribe to the channel. Step three, get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. Go down to check B. There it is. Click the link. Choose your state and pounce and get those incredible sums of money. Look how well we've done there. That's check A, about 12000 Check B, 80000 That's $100,000 right there. But we're not done. We're going to go get check C. It is averaging about $45,000 a viewer. A lot have gotten over $150,000. $2,000 a month over 12 months. How do you get it? Step one, become a member. Step two, subscribe. Then go down to where it says check C. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. It's for renters, utilities, mortgage assistance, more. The history of check C dates back to the earliest days of this channel because this is third stimulus. It's still paying out. And the success stories are incredible. You deserve to be one of these success stories. Here's one of many of these success stories. For a rent from Nisia, $20,000, all the way up to Elizabeth, $27,000, go get check C. For utilities from Angela up to Nancy, go get utilities, go get check C. Mark's brother-in-law got $15,000. The same brother-in-law is getting SNAP at $250,000 over 10 years. Combinations, get a combination of these checks. Here's Nisi, Mark, Lorraine, and Johnny. What do they all do? They got additional checks. They kept on getting combinations of checks. Nisi with this graphic went from 23,000 to 50,000. Mark with this graphic went from 32,000 to this graphic 50, so then 100, then 166 because he got check B. And here's Lorraine. She was at 105 and she went to 150. What does Lorraine, Nisi, Margaret, Johnny all do and you should be doing as well? Number one, they're in the, all the live chats. They're watching all the videos. You can't miss any video. I had teased earlier in the day that I thought I might have some of the major corporate earnings after the bell. You can't miss this recording because this is where you're going to hear two of the largest companies in America missed on top and bottom, Alphabet and Microsoft. You can't miss a single recording because this morning I went into great detail about Nord Stream 1, the pipeline that feeds all the gasoline for Western Europe. And the concern that they may have to ration natural gas to heat their citizens, and that can cause major trouble for you. The videos don't overlap, and you need to know where this economy is, where the money is. Inflation, recession, and your big money. Number two, they keep on getting money. They keep on getting money. Whether it's Spelly, whether it's the other viewer who got those 60, 70, 80 checks, I say the same thing to both of them. Keep on getting checks. Keep on getting checks. That's what all these viewers do. You deserve them. You want to get these big sums of checks. And finally, keep it positive. A couple of things for you to remember. First, go under this video and subscribe. You're watching Ally Light, America's number three most watched financial broadcaster in America, with one channel expanding, expanding to three television channels. Ally 2 and Ally 3 will be launching in the next few days. On Ally 2, you will have a 24-7 show live about your stimulus plus humor programming. On LA3, you'll have a 24-7 live show about corporate America, recession, inflation, jobs, and more, the economy, plus lots of shows on cooking. And then 
Two new features already rolled out. Have you seen them? First, the LLA Alive show, the most popular show there is. Now it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, with the stream being updated throughout the day. Jump in the live stream if you're watching it right now, and if you're not, jump in it throughout the night and throughout the day. And number two, LLA.com, the website that started it all, is now repurposed to feature all these incredible stories for you. Last night, delivered the breaking news about Walmart. Tonight, more of the same. If you need the story when it happens, turn to LLA. Do the following things. First, go under this video, subscribe. Number two, go under this video and join and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP member. Get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go to the front of this panel, button, uh, channel and hit the button so that you have all notifications set all on so that you get that incredible membership newsletter across the board and get those big checks. It's the week that is so important and you can't miss any money and you can't miss any breaking news. Let's go into that incredible newsletter right now. The membership newsletter delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. Know your time zone. It's 7 o'clock on the West Coast, 10 o'clock on the East Coast via YouTube alert. This is the YouTube alert. Here it's from YouTube, sent by me. Go down the alert, past the guy at the surfboard, lower, 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 till you see the click view post button, send you right into the Elite newsletter, and you're ready to rock and roll. Since I've been delivering this graphic, I get almost no comments from people asking to find the newsletter because this graphic is so simple. And with that, you're done. In fact, there's the newsletter. Moreover, I'm going to show it to you again. We're going to go through it one more time. It's the Allied Newsletter, delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So know your time zone. That is 7 o'clock West Coast time, 10 o'clock Eastern. If you're Central, it's 9 o'clock. It comes exactly on time, exactly to the minute. Sent via the YouTube alerts written by me. So what does that look like? Here's the YouTube alert sent by email. Title, for members only, New LA Post. Here is the body, YouTube, and the title says New LA Newsletter. You go down in this alert, past the man with the surfboard, to where it says View Post, click the button, and it sends you right in, and you get these incredible checks. You get these big sums of money. Don't wait to get these sums of money across the board. Here's another thing to know about these checks. Very, very important, and we saw it manifest itself earlier tonight, but I want to go more into it right now. Doesn't matter if we're referring to check A, check B, or check C. There are multiple checks within each category. Check C, for example. Check C for you should be at least five checks. You have to live, so you have to have rent or mortgage, and then you have about four utilities. So let's say water, gas, heating, oil, telephone. That's five checks. One month. How many opportunities for those five checks do you have in every place across the country? Upwards of about 12 places go in the membership newsletter. You have the six government agencies. You have the six nonprofits. That's 12 opportunities to get those five checks per month. Five times 12, that's 60 possible places per month for you to get checks. And you do it on a yearly basis, that's a lot of checks. Over to check B, you saw that wonderful viewer. She got five checks over 18 months. That's what happens with check B. That's not two checks. That's an enormous payout across the board. So keep on using all the resources to do exactly what's covered in the membership newsletter. And you can rock and roll. Now, here is what you also need to know, is where the news cycle is going this week, because folks, as I told you, this is the biggest news cycle we've had of the entire summer, and it's happening one week. I'm not only going to go over it, but I'm also going to go over your projections on what's happening in this big news cycle this week. On Wednesday morning, we get corporate earnings from Facebook, Bowen, Waste Management, Fortune Brands and others. Then at not 10 a.m., we have the home, pound, home sales and durable goods. At 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, FOMC statement by the Federal Reserve. That will likely be 75 basis point. 2.30, Jay Powell addresses the news. Thursday is the big shocker stories. That's the one that has the real variables. While Thursday has the app on Amazon corporate earnings, we have the Thursday Real GDP being released by Department of Labor for second quarter. Is it negative? If it is, we're in a recession. Thursday is also initial jobless claims. It's all 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I will have it live on air when it's announced Thursday morning. Friday, then, at the same time on Morning Daily, we have the personal income expenditure PCI. 
I think everything is going to be important of the entire summer between the economic reports coming out with respect to the GDP, the employment costs, and the Fed meeting, and the corporate earnings, says Leo Gorowski, Chief Investment Officer at Mellon Wealth Bank. He's absolutely correct. It's a week like none other. And I got to tell you, immediately, Wall Street is already being shocked by what they're seeing this week. They're being shocked on the inflationary front. They're being shocked on the earnings front. And they're being shocked on the recessionary front. Let me tell you the reaction tonight and my reaction at what you should be doing in looking at this news. First, on the earnings front, it's very important to see in these earnings how broadly the bad news is, or if it's sporadic. Is it across multiple industries, or is it just in certain industries? Tonight, we have all retail not looking good. Tonight, we have all social media not looking good. Tonight, we have technology not looking good. So we have a lot of different segments with that, a lot of different segments of the economy missing on top, revenue, and missing on bottom. And they're all blaming it on the economy. They're not blaming on Ukraine. They're not blaming on Russia. They're blaming on inflation and recession. That's number one. Number two, we need to see whether this inflation is peaked or not peaked. I had told you the Federal Reserve raising interest rates is not going to bring down inflation. And there's a lot of talk. I'm not going to cover it too much tonight because I think it's going to be a bigger story around August. There's a lot of talk about something called the Fed pivot. Many analysts are now talking about potentially that the interest rate spike you're going to see tomorrow and then the one in, all, and the one in September will be the last because they think at that point the economy will have taken too much of a hit from this and the Federal Reserve is going to be under too much pressure to say, hey, you haven't got, to, you haven't got to inflation under control. That's really the other issue at hand. Here tonight is the latest on the Build Back Better Act and then my commentary about where this economy is and where it's going. The Build Back Better Act is potentially heading to become two bills. By the end of this week, we're also going to hear big updates about stimulus as well. And what is we likely to hear about the Build Back Better Act? We're likely to hear whether it's going to be split into two bills and called for a vote with one half the first in July and then a second half in September. What's going on? The negotiations continued between Joe Manchin and Chuck Schumer for months, and they reached a major milestone last week. They've sent what they agreed to to the Senate parliamentarian. She has already ruled in favor of everything with the exception of the new provision, which is cheaper prescription medication, agreed to between Chuck and Joe. That announcement by her is expected any moment, and with that, the vote would be ready to be called. But only if you take out climate. That's not been agreed to. Manchin has an idea. Take the climate out and do it as a separate bill in September. I like that idea. And call what's been negotiated and agreed upon between him and, and, and Schumer right now in July. I love that idea. So the Build Back Better Act is potentially heading to a possible vote if the Senate parliamentarian says yes, which she is likely to do. And with that, what would still be in the July bill? They're not giving us a huge amount of updates of what has survived these negotiations between these two men. But let's go over the history of the bill, and let's go over what potentially may have happened. Fifteen, eighty thousand dollars are forced to most checks across many different provisions. You have to apply for them, like A, B, and C. Let's go over the individual provisions in a second. Twenty-five thousand dollars of free for the purchase of your first home will likely to survive, and two hundred fifty billion dollars of free home health care definitely would survive because Mansion supported the medical uh, insurance being cheaper. Let's go to the individual clusters and what the fate of those items are likely to be. $4,000 of elder care, yes. $4,000 of care for young children, yes. Hazard pay, $1,400 a year. The earned income tax credit, more one more year, yes. And then the $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle, likely no. He said he was against this provision. Home repairs, certainly. Second cluster, likely everything fell apart. Why? Because cluster number two, home repairs, is now check A. <laughs> you can get check A, as Spelling did. That is check A. Paid leave, that is a very anti-Joe Manchin, not likely to survive provision. Third cluster, dental, vision, hearing, lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, all likely to survive, and free internet for all checks. And then the magnitude and the possibility of additional checks, whether one or multiple, is dependent upon the magnitude and the size of the Build Back Better Act across the board. Finally, tonight, my commentary on what's going on with this economy, what's going on with the analysis of the economy, and what's going on with you and I. <laughs> A lot of details to digest, and we're going to go over everything starting right now. 
one of the most important things to deal with when you have an economy that is particularly difficult to look at, particularly difficult to track, you know, very volatile, very ever-changing, is you have to be conservative. You have to be conservative. You have to be conservative of your money. You can't be spending where you don't want to be spending. And you have to be ahead of the ball game. What do you specifically need to be doing? Bulking up all your stimulus, getting as much stimulus as you can, reducing your debt, and removing any adjustable rate debt at home. That's a credit card debt that has adjustable rate. That is that car loan, getting rid of it across the board. Terry Rose said it was very important for him, and he thanks me for reminding viewers to do that. Tonight, we learn that that is not what's happening with the American public. Credit card debt is reportedly at an all-time high. People are traveling at all-time record numbers and putting those travel expenditures, hotel, air, and car on the credit card for debt and running up the debt. The concern is that people are not going to be able to afford the debt because they're spending in record debt increments ever before. We also know about the summer, hum, uh, 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 summer concert series. As younger people are spending record debt to buy summer concert tickets, and I'm not talking about $20, I'm talking about several hundred to several thousands of dollars. That record spending is not going to be good if the economy goes really south very quickly. Now, why is this important for you and I? The reason why this channel is working is because I give you the guidance months before, weeks before the event happens. I tell you where things are happening before it happens so that you can prepare your wallet, your expenditures, and your family accordingly. What doesn't work is what's happening elsewhere on some Wall Street analysts and some White House officials. Let me give you examples. Yesterday, Janet Yellen announced, she's a Treasury Secretary, that this is a very strong labor market. That's not a true statement. There are 251,000 new jobless claims last week, the highest number of 2022. That's not a true statement. The week before that, Joe Biden, your President of the United States, said the CPI number is not a reliable number as a gauge of inflation. What number is more reliable than CPI? There is no live inflation number in this economy. It never has for nearly 50, 80, 100 years. So for him to say that number shouldn't be used, for her to say that the labor is strong, the people who need to be giving you accurate economic inv information are discounting the economic elements that you should be using to determine where your market book is to be going. It's not alone. Jay Powell keeps on saying he's getting inflation down to 2% later this year. He hasn't even gotten it out of 8%. It's the month of July going into August. And then we go to the Wall Street analyst. The Wall Street analysts have been notorious since at least June when this downward spiral started with Walmart and Target giving downward guidance. Those analysts kept on saying uh, things are strong, things are great, things are really well. Last night, they were shocked when the Walmart guidance was so severely downward. Why would they be shocked? We already know that inflation is up. We already know that no business can absorb the cost of inflation indefinitely. They're going to have to pass it over to the consumer. We all know the consumer does not have unlimited spending power to pay for milk or eggs 200% higher, 100% higher than before. It's not going to happen. Why was Wall Street so shocked by it? The reason is very simple. Wall Street's trying to often paint certain segments of this economy as really robust, really great, in a great circumstance. Whether it's housing, which is in a bust, whether it is the bear market, with them trying to say it's a bull market or a temporary correction, whether it's recession, with them saying we're not going to recession, when the Atlanta Fed GDP now says we already are in recession, and whether it's labor, with them continually saying that a quarter million new jobless claims per week is a strong labor market. Folks, that's not a strong labor market. Ultimately, my job is to protect you. And my job is to make sure your wallet is robust as possible. You need as much money in your wallet and to be prepared accordingly. And that's why this channel works. And that's why LLA is expanding. In the next few weeks, you're going to see more of everything you need across the board. You see how comprehensive the recordings have become. They're getting really in-depth even more than ever before. 
you're going to see everything you love on this channel plus two new channels you can see everything you love here plus a website that gives you the breaking news throughout the night because i can't stay on camera 24 7 but i can certainly send you out a news story in the middle of the night like i did last night with walmart you're going to see the live feed where people are jumping the live feed you're going to see the tick on the live feed where it changes when the latest breaking news of an earnings report or a major shocker on the housing data or labor comes in it goes right into the ticker that goes under the screen that is why you stay here america's number three most watched financial news network that's today we're heading to number two tell your friends and family come on over we need to keep the spirit keep it positive keep it motivated always be kind to one another be kind to the person who had a foot surgery be kind to the person who had a birthday be kind to the person who doesn't feel well be kind to the person who's trying to find something figure it out for themselves be kind and helpful motivating and sincere because that is how we get through this family as a team together two years of recession potentially two years as a family we can do it Go on to this video and join LLA. Love you to death, and I'll see you throughout the night. The programming continues with LLA Live airing 24 hours a day, seven days a week on this channel. Meantime, LLA Late Evenings is every night at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. 6 o'clock is, is Countdown. 7 o'clock is Street and Stimulus. 8 o'clock is Extra. 9 o'clock is Sunset. And the programming continues throughout the night with early morning starting at 4 a.m. Ultimately, we can't make other people, whether it's the administration or Wall Street analysts, say the correct thing when they're saying the incorrect thing about economic news. But ultimately, we can educate ourselves. If we educate ourselves and know what a CPI is, what inflation is, how it impacts our wallet, what Department of Labor does, then ultimately we can understand the data. We can prepare our family. And preparing our family, whether we're single or married, retired, working or not, together we can do it as a family. It's a big week and we're just getting started. Stay with me throughout the week because the breaking news continues Wednesday morning tomorrow. The shocker with the latest details coming in from the Federal Reserve by midday. And then Thursday where we start with those huge numbers on labor. Folks, it is a week like none other. Become a member. You deserve these big sums of checks. Go under this video. You qualify. Do not wait to get these big sums of money. Become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. For the shorts of Santa Monica, California, God bless. Keep it positive. Keep it motivated. And get those big sums of money. And join this channel to make sure you stay ahead of the game. Stay informed. Stay focused. Have a beautiful night. And stay with Light for more.